All right, so, so let's look at hand. Let's look at hand. So, all right, so you have a Gimana Rosh Hashanah. The Malachi Asher Tel HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Ribbono Shel Olam, Mipreh Ma'en Omrim Lefanecha Yisrael Shira B'Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. He tells the Malachi Asher to ask Hashem, why aren't B'nai Yisrael saying Hallel on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur? That's what he's asking. HaKadosh Baruch Hu answers them, Efshad, Melech Yosheb HaKaseh Din, Besifrei Hayim Ume, Sifrei Metim Petrochim Lefanah, Be'Yisrael Omrim Shira, does that make sense? That I'm on, sitting on Kisei Adin and they're fighting for their lives and the books of life and death are open. You expect them to sing a song? Right. You don't know what you're going to get yet. Sing yeah, Hallelujah. Relax. That's crazy. Okay. Right? The, this is the Gemara. That's the Gemara Rosh Right? And everybody, uh, there's a lot of Mifarshim that ask the question, why do the Melachim care so much? Hmm. Why do they care so much if we sing or don't sing? What is it, what's it to them? If you look at Yun Yaakov, <coughs> right? In Hulin, Gemara in Hulin, Sadi Aleph Amud Bet, the Malachi Asherah, what does it say? It says that Malachi Asherah do not sing until B'nai Israel sing. Right? The Malachi Asherah do not sing, do not sing a shira in, in Shamayim until B'nai Israel say a shira lemata. Beam can, if so, they're asking why aren't they singing? Because we can't sing until they can't sing. And if we, they, we can't sing, then nobody's singing. Right. And that's a problem because you're all in Shamayim. And, because I, the Malachim have to wait until, wait until we're singing below. Right, can't sing above until but now it's Rosh Hashanah, which is the, the the new year, and Yom Kippur. It's all the whole, you know, the holy, uh, the, you know, the holy day of Yom Kippur, yeah. and no one's singing because the in the Gemara based on the Gemara Cholim, the Malachim have to wait until we sing. So uh, you could explain this Gemara Rosh Hashanah based on what we just said in Cholim, that they wait for us to sing Lemata in order for them to sing Lemata. So that's the reason why they're asking because it's be it's it's causing them not being able to sing. That's the Yun Yaakov. But you have a problem because you have another Gemara. You have a Gemara in Arachim. Arachim talks about Kodesh or Hekdesh, all that stuff. He brings a Tosfot. He brings a Tosfot and he says, Aval Shonam, Aval lo ma en anu omrim If the Gemara is asking, Tosfot they're asking on the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah, he goes, Why? The Gemara over there doesn't say, why aren't we singing Shira? Right? Which would say that Malachi Asherah sings Shira even Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. Right? So hold on. They only ask why B'nai Israel are not singing. Right. They don't ask why. Why can't we, why aren't we singing? Saying, why they, B'nai Israel, aren't singing. Right. Which means, which means that he brings and says, that's why it's important to say the Pasuk, Right? right, because you get, you want to give permission to the Malachim, so to speak, to sing. You want to make sure that they're singing, because you can't sing on Rosh Hashanah. We don't say Halel, so we want to. It's important to say this pasuk not on the Yamin Noraim, right? And by it's by I think it's by Birkat Yosef Or. That's what it says over here. So that's what the Rebbe brings. The Rebbe, maybe it's in your Sidurim. No, we're saying here. That the 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 implying the Tosfos is implying that the Malachim themselves do sing. Yes, agreed. Oh, and it's important because that's what it's saying. The Malachim aren't asking why aren't we singing? Right, why aren't they? Right, right. No, they're saying right. Mi pre ma en omrim lefanecha Israel shira. Why are Bnei Israel singing a song for them? For you, it doesn't make sense. So the fact that they say that that they're not saying why are we singing and why are they singing means that they do sing. But that, that is arguing on what we just said before, that the Malachim don't sing until we sing. So if we don't sing, they can't sing. But now you bring a Gemara showing that, they, we're proving that they actually do sing, and they just want to know why we aren't singing. Two things, remember? You have two Gemarot. One, well, first let's go back. The, the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah, the original, you have the Malachim, the Malachim are asking, why aren't Bnei still singing? Okay? And then Hashem answers because you have the books of life and book of death open. You expect them to just uh, sing Halel. It's not the time. The Yun Yaakov and Gimaran Cholim brings that the Malachi Asher don't sing until we sing, which shows that they got to wait their turn, so to speak. Mm. Okay? So that yeah, makes sense because now I'm not sitting with the Malachim aren't singing because, you know, we're not singing, so they want to know what's going on. We all came dressed up and uh, nothing's happening. But the Gimaran Arachim says, that they did that the Malachim are not, if you look at the Lashon of the Gemara, the Malachim are not saying, why are we not singing, right, the Malachim, yet they're saying, why aren't they singing? B'nai Yisrael, why aren't they singing? Which shows you, and that he brings over there in, in Tosfot, that, that you have to make sure you say this thing, that, that you know, the, 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 not allowing, but explaining that the Malachim are singing. So they do sing, 
even without us. That's the bottom line. You have one Gibbana says they wait, one Gibbana says that we that they're, that, all, they're all singing. Mm. So they have a stira. So Ela Shabemit Kashato Swada he de Holin. Right, so it's a stira of what we said in Arachin, this third Gemara, versus the second Gemara. The second Gemara says that the Malachim wait for us. And the, and the third Gemara is saying that they, they do it on their own. So now he brings a Midrash in Yakut Shimoni on the Pasuk of Ekara Ze Ve'amad. Right? It's, you know, we say it every day, right? It's a Pasuk in Yeshaya, by the way. Okay? So the Ze Shehamalachim Nohagim Kavod Ze Lazeh. If you ever read Titbarach uh, before Vatak Kadosh in by Yitzhak Od, it's a beautiful, beautiful paragraph explaining how the Malachim are acting with one another, right? They all, they all, they give. So this is what he's bringing. The Midrash is saying exactly. It's so beautiful, showing a besafa berura ubni. Right, besafa berura is clear. Ubeneima, right? It's naim. It's nice the way they say it. Right. So the Malachim had would always give kavod for one to the other. To say, you know, you go first, and the katon tells the gadol, you start. Okay, the lower malach would tell the the, the greater malach, chavod, you go, and that's what um kabelin den miden means, which means what? That there's an invitation, <clears throat> right? Mi sheomer hashira mekabel hazmana mehabero. That the one that says a shira receives, he's only singing shira because he got an invitation from his friend, from the other malach. The malachim don't do it on their own, is what he's saying. The Malachim don't do it on their own. So where it says, uh, they call this one and that one, Ve'amar, and says, the Midrash is explaining, that the smaller Malach gives kavod to the older Malach, and says, please, Ve'chavod. And that's Um Kabelin, Um Kabelin, Um Kabelin, sorry, Den Min Den, that they get the reshut from one another. They give permission from each other. And the one that gets Shira, so the one that's singing means that the one, that that, that one is higher. Because he got he got he got permission from the lower one. He was invited, yeah. He was invited. He's higher. Uh, he's higher. So that means the one that's singing means he's he's the higher. The greater malach. The greater one, right? Now, what does it show you? So the midrash says that Habibin Israel if Hakadosh Baruch Hu yoter mi malachim shalit that Hashem values us and we're closer to Hashem more than the malachim. Why? Because we say God's name after two words. Right. We say Shema Israel Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. If the two words we say Hashem's name, the, the Malachim Kadosh, different. Kadosh, they say the three, right? Very good. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Hashem Sevakon. Mm-hmm. Look what it says. It says Bekara Ze El Ze They call right. So they say they start singing Kadosh, 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 and then Hashem Sevakon. It's the third word, right? And in Malachi Shiret Omrim Shira Lemala, right? Before we say down here, Demash um, Vadai. That for sure you can say on the Chulin Gemara. Yeah, we're going to the Gemara Hulin, right, because they're waiting for us. According to the Gemara Hulin, they wait for us. That the, the reason why the Malachi Sharet say Shira, do not say Shira until B'nai Israel is because B'nai Israel are considered higher than the angels themselves. Hmm. And they wait for us. So they wait, so remember, based on this Midrash that we're, that they give Kabot to the other, right, right and they're tied into the Gemara. The before, they don't start with right, the so now they want to know, when, why aren't they singing? They should be singing, because why? Because we know that you value them more than us. Hmm. Right? The, the Malachim are mechabedim otam. They're giving us kavod that we should sing first before HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's an amazing thing. Okay? But, but, we know that works on a day, on a good day, where we're, not a good day, but on a day that we all sing. On a Pesach, on a regular day, any day. Okay? Zeniha b'yom sheyomrim shira ben Yisrael ben Malachim. That works well on a day that everybody sings. But on a day that, what about a day that B'nai Sel do not sing? B'nai Sel are off. Because like what? Like Yom Kippur Rosh Hashanah. Mm-hmm. Then it makes sense that the Malachi Asharet could sing first. Because they know that we cannot. They know that we can't sing. So that's why in the beginning, they're waiting. The beginning, they're waiting for B'nai Sel to sing a shira. And when they see that B'nai Sel are not, they ask Why? Why they ask, they ask Hashem? Why? Why are they singing? And after he answers them and says, "Because what you want the the, the books of life and the books of death are open, and you expect them to sing, right?" And so then they start singing on their own, and that's exactly what the fourth would be in Arachim, the third Gemara that we said that the Malachim sing on their own to say why that once they were informed by Kadosh Baruch Hu that Bnei Yisrael can't sing because it's just not the time for them to sing. So then the Malachim step up. 
But originally, normally, under normal circumstances, they wait for us. That's why it says, I think it's in the Zohar, that, you know, everything, whatever is down here is upstairs. You have a malach in Shemaim, your own malach, yours. And he has a turn, he has a turn to sing in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hmm. And that turn is only after you down here sing. Invited. Right, not invited, no. you pray. Yeah. You pray. Why? Because, so you, you embarrass, if you're normally going to the 8 o'clock minyan, now you go to the 9 o'clock minyan, it's good. But realize, you, you, your guy's waiting up there. It's a little rough. It's embarrassing. I'm no. just saying, we're trying hard. We're doing what we can. Yeah, we do what we can. We do again. Not every day is post. Uh, not every day is a ten. You know, yeah, not every day is a ten. But we're getting to minions. Right, it's inshallah. Right, that's, I agree with you. The has Hashem. But again, so we learn that Hashem cares more about us, values us more. And by the way, that's why it says they go down and see us, and they see our trials and tribulations, and they see how we respond. And when we do things the right way, they take that and they take it upstairs to Shemaim, and with that is what they sing to Hashem with. You understand? With that, with when we want to yell and we don't yell, or, or we want to sleep later, we push and we get up, or we see money and we want to take it, but we don't. We say, no, Hashem said not to, we're not allowed to take it. Right? They take that, look how much B'nai said, I love you. They take what our experiences and they use that as praise to Baruch Hu. Because in Shemayim, there's no motivation. Everything's clear, very open. There's nothing, you know, every, everything, when you know, that, when you know the answer to the joke, it's not funny anymore. Right? Only if you don't know the joke, you, you, you know, you, it's funny. So over here, it's funny because we, we are putting it into practice. And the Malachim don't, don't, aren't able to put it into practice. And Bezat Hashem, we should be able to continue putting it into practice until Mashiach comes. Amen. Amen. Amen.